Hey everyone, I'm Clyde Forlin with CritterCoin, and today we're going to talk about a feature that's going to make your life so much easier. It's called favorite groups. So you might be asking, what are favorite groups? Let's take a look now in the student's view. Favorite groups allow teachers to filter their views to show smaller groups of students rather than the entire school roster. Most teachers use favorite groups to filter their students by class period, making classroom management more efficient. Favorite groups can be created after students have been added to your school and works the same whether your students were added manually or automatically through Clever or ClassLink. To see any existing groups, tap on the star icon next to any student photo. There will always be a favorites group by default, as well as any other custom groups that you created. Like in this example, you could have your favorite groups for your classes, such as period one, period two, period three, etc. You can add as many as you want, and every teacher has their own set of groups that they control. You can filter any of these student lists based on the favorite groups at any time, like at the beginning of each class period. Simply tap on this filter icon above the students list, and the filter sidebar will open. You'll see your groups at the top of this sidebar, Check the groups that you want to filter by, like Period 1 Math, and click Save. Now you can see my list of students has been filtered to show only my Period 1 Math class. To get back to the full roster, you can tap the X here on the filter icon, or open the filter sidebar again and click Reset above your groups. Be sure to click Save. Now that you know how they work, let's take a look at how you can create favorite groups. Just like before, tap any star icon and then tap the button labeled Create Group. Let's call this new one Period 4 Math and click Save. This student will automatically be added to this new group, and then you can select other students to be in this group as well. To remove a student, simply uncheck the group name and it will automatically save. To edit or remove a group, click the pencil icon next to the group name. Let's go ahead and delete this group that we just made and confirm. Another way you can get favorite groups is by copying them from other admins and teachers. In the same place, look for and tap the copy groups button you see here. Or if you have the filter sidebar open, tap it here and a pop-up will appear showing a list of all the admins and teachers in your school. Simply select a user from the drop-down menu and you'll see their favorite groups listed below. Simply check the groups you want to use on your own account and then click Copy. When you see these new groups are copied over, you'll then see them as options to add your students to. Lastly, for advanced users, you can also create and assign favorite groups using a CSV file. In the filter sidebar, tap the button labeled Import from CSV. This will show a pop-up with a link to download a CSV template. After downloading, open it up in your favorite CSV editor. The template has two columns, Group and Email. On each row, add the name of the favorite group the student belongs to and the student's email address. You can add as many groups as you want for each student. Let's look at a more complete example. This may seem like a daunting task, but a lot of school information systems can export data like this without too much effort. Just make sure that the student email addresses in your SIS are the same as you see in CritterCoin. After you save the CSV file, go back to your browser and upload the file. If you want to start fresh and remove any existing groups you have, enable the Delete All of My Current Groups checkbox before continuing. You will now see that your favorite groups have been updated. Favorite groups are a great way to make classroom management a breeze. That's all I have for you today. Be sure to follow CritterCoin on YouTube for more exciting tutorials. See you next time.